sure enough, it's rotten, completely dry, crumbly, flaky, nothing to it. Last week, we introduced you to our hole, the area of crumbly wood at the top of one of our bulkheads. This week, we fill it in. So, as you might remember, we had a hole. And we still have got a hole. I'll explain where I've got to so, in a second. Um, we had a hole in the bulkhead, soft wood, I've cut it all out, and then the plan to fill it in is, this is half inch ply, um, so I bought some quarter inch ply, um, and I made a cardboard template, uh, which I've lost, uh, of the shape to go up inside here, where there's two flanges, if you like, or the deck moulding where they meet. So the plan is, my wood goes up inside there, and then the first bit of these two that I'm talking about, ignore this one for a second, comes down in and sits on, just sits on top of the bulkhead. That's the kind of filler piece. Then the piece on the outside, jams up inside there, lots of thickened epoxy to stick it all in. And then I've routed a quarter inch um, slot, rebate, rabbit, I don't know what the right term is for that, um, on there, which the board then sits against. So the second piece, sits flush on the outside here and it's properly bonded onto that and then because the other side of it is inside the cupboard where you can't see it I've got this piece which is another larger piece that comes down to here which I've epoxied on the outside so when it's finished I've got that piece on the inside which is properly adhered to the, the back side of the wood the main bit inside which is trapped to the glass fibre and then this bit on the outside which is also trapped and bonded to the glass fibre and then stuck on this bit so I'm probably sandwiching the bulkhead. It will be as strong as it ever was. Um, and then I'll just have a fascia panel over the top, which was the plan anyway, so I'm not fussed about that. So that's where I'm getting to, except it's four degrees. My epoxy is like treacle. Um, I just won't come out the pump. So I'm gonna to have to switch the heater on and, uh, and leave the boat for a few hours to warm up a bit. And then hopefully I can get enough heat in here to, to get this done. Because I wanna try and get it done because of course, it was the one job that was um, never really on the list. So um, I want to get it out of the way. And of course, it's not the sort of job you can ignore. You know, holding your boat, especially on the bulkhead, really you don't want to be doing. So, uh, so yeah, so anyway, there are the shape bits of wood. That bit goes on the outside. The bit that's down the inside that hole where it was just the epoxy. Now, I've, I've covered it all in epoxy to start with as well to seal it all. I've also, <coughs> I don't know if that's going to come out on the camera. I've used that wet rot wood hardener. It's probably not the right thing to use, but there's certain places like up inside this little, this little bit of wood in here that I couldn't get out as such, where it's still soft, and there's a little bit right up the top in that corner, which again, I don't want to get out because it's a bit soft. I've, I've injected that into it just using a little syringe um, uh, to, to harden it up. We've used it before and it's really good stuff, just firms it up and, and um, seals, seals, the, seals the wood. So. Hopefully that'll be okay, whether that's the right thing to do or not, I don't know if you can tell us. But we've had good success on other things we've done, so. Um, yeah, and then once that's all epoxied in, it'll be good. Um, on the other front, the other things I've been doing, all the, all the woodwork that's left, is that coming out? Not too much segue. I've scraped all this off. Um, in fact, I've scraped all the wood off, the, all the woodwork inside the cabin. I've left the, the front half of the boat. And I've left the back half of the moment. So I've scraped off everything in the cabin um, uh, with a view to varnish. Rather than sanding, I'll, I'll show you a little clip here of me scraping off the floorboards in the garage. It's a Baco 650 scraper. And uh, this has done quite a lot of scraping now and it's getting blunt. But as you can see, it's still brilliant. Beach sanding and paint stripping and all the other ways of doing it. So as you can see, that's a whole heap easier than sanding. It still needs a sand because there's odd places where the grains go in the other way um, and um, it just picks up slightly. It doesn't pick up like a plane picks up when you're going the wrong way, but it just gets a little slightly rough finish. So you need a, just to a dust over a sandpaper. But it's a whole heap easier than sanding, a whole heap less messy than paint stripper or whatever. Um, and the wood's come up really good. Um, 
So, if I can ever get any temperature in here, because of course I don't want to be varnishing in 3 degrees either, I'll be able to do it. Um, that's the plan. Anyway, I've now got to um, switch this heater back on and then just go back home because I'm not going to get anything done and um, hopefully we can get enough heat in here for the afternoon and I can bond all this in. Okay. It's uh, quarter to two now, a bit late for the day. It was too cold this morning, even with the heaters on. Um, for the little bit of time I was here, it didn't make a dent on it, but the sun's come up, it's warmed it up, it's sort of seven or eight degrees outside. I had the heater on, it's now 12 degrees in here, and uh, I came back to the boat um, <coughs> and I glassed it all in. Sun's in your eyes now, I can't see. Um, it's come out quite good. I don't know how well that's going to come out on the camera, but it's got my uh, boat hook at the moment, just kind of holding it in position, keep a bit of pressure on it. All kind of glassed in. I've got a good splodge of um, epoxy fit, filled with uh, microfibers holding it all together. So there's a big splodge of it at the top joining it, joining it to the set of it, and then the, the first bit stuck up there as well. And then all the way around the edge, it's looking good. While well, I was waiting for the cabin to heat up, I also managed to clean the engine up, which is quite handy. Um, not degreased yet, well I've got the dust off it. But prior to us owning the boat, someone had obviously shredded a uh, alternator belt and there's just black dust over everything, so I managed to clean a lot of that up. So, um, so that's good. Hopefully this will go off now, I'm going to leave the heater on and then hopefully someone will unplug it. I left it on this morning and someone came back and, unpl and unplugged it. Um, which I can't really complain about because I'm not the only boat in the heart and I imagine everyone needs power at some point but um, still it's a bit frustrating because the idea was to warm the boat up for this so I've had to sit around now for three quarters of an hour waiting for this to warm up which it finally has done with the sun on um, but yes we're going to Christmas Fair or something next I think um, and then I've got to start scraping off the or finishing off scraping off the boards and varnishing the floorboards that'll probably be the next thing Anyway, keep going.